We know that the, our current ways of preventing DVT, which is um, one of the major in-hospital sources of mortality for patients, are ineffective. To be an effective surgeon and researcher really means noticing common problems that we sometimes become blind to as surgeons because we're so used to encountering them. And being a researcher is you're always on the lookout for these common problems in a way to bring them back to the lab. For a good Wiley Scholars, you need to have dedication, you need to have passion toward what you're studying, and you need to have the resources. Andrea Obi embodies all three of those things. The Wiley Scholar Award is one of the most important awards we have in vascular surgery in the country, and many have gone on to be the leaders of vascular surgery in the country. It's founded by the Vascular Cures Foundation, and the whole premise of the Wiley Award is to sponsor emerging surgeon scientists who are interested in solving a problem in vascular surgery. It's quite, quite competitive amongst vascular surgeons. We were all really excited when she got this award. Dr. Obi is really one of the most up-and-coming, rising academic stars in the country, and she's done some incredible research. Our clinical problem really is sepsis-related deep venous thrombosis. Basically, it's clotting of the veins in, in primarily the legs, and this can cause both limb problems where people get swelling, pain, uh, and ulceration, or it can also cause an embolus to the lungs that kills people. I think it will have a huge impact on her patients because she's studying something that not a lot of people look at. It's about the third largest killer of people behind heart disease and cancer. It could impact a lot of patients, probably about 33%, so that's a lot of people. Once someone has uh, sepsis or becomes very ill, their risk of DVT is elevated for the next year, and traditional agents are not very effective at preventing DVT. And really our theory is that these immune cells called monocytes and macrophages, which we know participate in venous thrombosis, develop what's called immune memory after someone's been ill and can potentially predetermine that someone may form a blood clot sort of over the course of time. And so our goal is really to target that process, investigate it, and figure out new therapies focusing on the immune system rather than anticoagulation to prevent or treat DVT in the future. And part of Dr. Obi's work is to try to understand how infections then stimulate the endothelium to help clots to form. She's also looking at the genetics and how cells may change related to that inflammation that then allow the risk to remain even when the inflammation is gone. Her results are going to be applicable to many other clinical situations, so she will have a lot of impact on other areas of vascular disease and disease in general. Dr. Gallagher has been a very strong uh, mentor for Dr. Obi in helping her to understand what it takes to be a successful academic surgeon scientist. I personally was a Wiley Scholar back in 2012. It was absolutely instrumental in my career. It also gives you some street cred where when you go to apply for other grants, they can see that you've already gotten this prestigious award through Vascular Cures, and so they know that your science is good. For vascular surgery at Michigan to have been associated with Wiley Scholar recipients over the years is a testament, I believe, to the fantastic academic surgeon scientists we have here at Michigan. Vascular surgery is one of the specialties where innovation is absolutely central to the specialty itself. And so I think it's only natural that vascular surgery will sort of lead the way, not only with medical device design innovation, but also with scientific discoveries, because it's sort of in our mindset to always be leading and trying new things and pushing the envelope as far as we can to improve patient care.